looking for headphones that sound amazing but don't break the bank because in today's video we are going to review a pair of open back headphones from Philips that sound awesome or well costing under a hundred dollars and if you want to know what these headphones are make sure you stick around to find out What's up, it's TZ here with Technological Gadgets, bringing you the best in tech and making tech work for you. And on this channel, we do hauls, tutorials, and tech gear reviews like this one. And if you fancy this kind of content, make sure you drop a like, and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Before we dive into the review, let's take a look at the unboxing. First, let's take a look at the design. The design of these headphones are what I would consider as clean, with the L and R indicating the left and right channel respectively written in a dark grey on the metal grills. And since they are open back, you can actually see the drivers through the grills of the headphones. Moreover, the ear cups are massive and super spacious well, touting a absolutely huge 50mm driver which we will touch on later in the video. They are also made out of this kind of so-called sports material which combined with the metal grill means that there is a lot of airflow to your ears making these headphones great for a really really long time without your ears heating up and sweating a lot. Awesome for those of you guys who live in hot climates like I do. Though the ear pads are definitely not as comfortable as the status audio CB ones that I reviewed. Links in the description. But have low amounts of clamping force and are lightweight. They also have an adjustable stainless steel headband with the same sports material and decent padding, which I like. As a matter of fact, these headphones are made entirely out of that stainless steel material, which gives them a strong and solid build. Moving on to the most important part of this video, how do they sound? I'll be doing a sound test first with these headphones. Then I'll be talking about the bass, mids, highs, soundstage plus imaging on these headphones. So put on your headphones and take a listen to the sound test.
Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways And on and on we'll go First up, the bass on these headphones are definitely not for bass heads out there, especially since they are open back in nature. So don't expect the thump and sub bass rumble that you might find in other headphones. Though they can be remedied by applying an EQ digitally or with a DAC M combo like the one that I have reviewed in the previous videos. Links in the description that supports it. But what is good about the bass is that it is extremely clean and clear with almost zero distortion and never bleeds into the mid frequencies and for gaming the cleanliness of the bass makes sure you can still hear everything around you even if explosions are happening basically everywhere around you so if you are looking for that kind of sound these headphones are definitely up your alley and next up we have the mids they are extremely bright and forward with the vocals definitely taking center stage front and center they are also extremely clean and crisp making vocals just a joy to listen to with both male and especially female vocals from songs like in the name of love someone like you and capital letters standing out this makes them great for music with heavy emphasis on vocals and and dialogues in movies and tv shows if you want a pair of headphones to compare this to i would most likely compare it to the sennheiser hd 600 and 6xx set of headphones which sound pretty close to how the shp 9500 sound be less detailed since it costs less than basically half the cost of the aforementioned headphones Aside from that, the mids are definitely outstanding. After that, we have the highs, like the HD6XX and the HD600. They are extremely bright, making vocals sparkle very often, especially female vocals. This gives them a ton of detail and definition, especially for its price, which is absolutely just insane. Also, instruments like guitars, violins, and pianos just sound so good. You can hear every single pluck surprisingly clear, which is insane for under a hundred dollars. And as for gaming, you can hear footsteps in your favorite first person shooter game, especially battle royale games like Apex Legends, Warzone, PUBG, Fortnite, and many more to mention really clearly. Not only that, but you can hear bullets just whizzing past you when someone is shooting at you, which is really awesome. So if you love to play competitive, these headphones are definitely awesome for that. Now on to the main reason why you would choose an open back pair of headphones versus a closed back pair of headphones. And it is the sound stage and imaging. The sound stage on these just blew my status audio CB1 out of the water. The status audio CB1 sound stage sounded more like a small room, but these headphones sounded more like a big open area like sort of your living room 
if the analogy is correct. Not the widest sound stage in the world, but definitely one of the widest that I have ever listened to under a hundred bucks, which is just mind boggling. This creates sort of an atmosphere for music, making you feel like you're on the stage with the artist rather than in a studio. And instruments sound well spaced out. Back to gaming. This makes open world games from your battle royale like Warzone to your single player games like Shadow of the Tomb Raider to sound less claustrophobic and more like you are in the environment and really immerses you into the game. Needless to say, the sound stage is definitely its strongest point. Aside from that, the imaging is surprisingly accurate. Better than some of the headphones that cost twice the price, which is really amazing. This creates a really awesome experience when listening to music as you know almost where each instrument is placed, where the vocals are coming from and even sometimes which instruments are behind each other. Which is just absolutely nuts. Then for my gamers out there, the imaging will definitely help you in your competitive shooters and battle royale games where you need to know where those pesky snipers are camping and take them out. Not only this but if someone tries to come up behind you in game, you will definitely hear them, which not many headphones that I have tested under $100 are able to do. Now to the conclusion, if you are looking for a pair of headphones that have thick, punchy and rumbly bass for your house and EDM music as well as feeling those crazy explosions in games and movies, this may not be the pair of headphones for you. But if you are looking for a pair that has awesome soundstage, imaging and they have insanely clear and crisp sound with some sparkle that feels like a sort of surround sound system for your music and movies this is definitely for you also for my competitive gamers out there you should pick these headphones up as long as you can game in a quiet environment as the positional and footstep audio is absolutely awesome though that's a caveat if you need a pair of headphones on the go or listening in a crowded and noisy environment please do not pick this up and check my review of a close back pair of headphones that will do much better for that situation for almost the same price but if you can listen in a quiet or private environment these headphones are definitely the best sounding under a hundred dollars question of the day what headphones are you currently using and how do they sound let me know down in the comment section below and i'm sure to reply to every single one of your comments aside from that drop a like if you like this video subscribe to see more tech content like this and i hope to see you guys in the next video